part two of my bed fix is this section of the bed over here. Now what I noticed is this section of the bed is kind of a uh, wasted space. There's plenty of room to put storage and things up here, um, but there's no good way to keep it there. If you just piled stuff up here, it would just fall right off anytime you took a curve. What I noticed though is it should be possible to create some straps. So let me show you what I did. I bought some one inch strap webbing and I noticed that for the bed itself there's these little notches here that the bed clips into and I thought those would be handy places for a strap to attach. So I 3D printed out a little buckle like this which if I measured it correctly fits nicely in here, snaps in, you can just squeeze it and snap it back out. And then a, a quick release buckle like that, which can be attached to the strap. So my plan is to take this one inch strap, um, just put double sided velcro on, attach it to the far side of the bed, and then I will be able to take the strap over the top here and clip it in to one of these buckles. So I can run about three or four of those across, and now I can strap anything I want down to the top of the bed area here. My thought with the straps is that we can basically use that to store the bedding. Uh, what we'll do is the bed is going to be down. We'll just take the bedding, roll it over to this side over here, put the bed up and stow it, and then strap the bedding down here. That way it should be really quick to roll it back out once we pull the bed out, uh, and it should keep it up against the wall. You could also use the straps to stow anything else you want up here. Let's say you had some sleeping bags for the pop top or just some suitcases or other things. You could expand the straps, run them around, lock them down. And you should be able to even stow the table here by flipping it upside down and unscrewing the leg. You should be able to stow the table in the space and strap it down with those straps. Okay, this is how I'm going to put the straps together. So first thing, you take your strap um, and you give it a little bit of a flame to kind of melt the end here. That's good enough, just so that it doesn't fray anymore. It's a classic thing to do with nylon straps. So slight change of plan from my original uh, plan. Originally I had 3D printed both the snap end buckle to go into the bed and the, uh, the buckle here. Unfortunately, these are under a fair bit of stress and the 3D print wasn't super strong. So I changed my plan and uh, bought a bunch of these guys from Amazon. Just little simple metal ladder buckles. And I'll put the link in the description. So this is how I'm going to wire my strap. Basically the strap on one end is going to just screw down to the bed frame on the outer side. And then that's going to come up through the strap like see if I can find the right hole. <laughs> it's going to come up through the strap like that, down through the other side like that. Uh, and it's a little snug with these straps, but I think that's fine. We probably won't be adjusting the, uh, the distance too much. And then uh, it's going to go through the snap buckle like this. And that's what's going to snap into the far side of the bed. And uh, then we'll just run this part up and around this ladder strap right here and sew it together and that will form the loop. Then you can adjust the length here um, from minimal size to pretty much double the size and that should give us a lot of flexibility. Now that we've got the uh, strap I sewed on securely, we'll go ahead and mount the snap buckle. The way you do that is you get this through here, mount it like that, then this strap goes up through here and down through the ladder buckle like this.
This will be the doubled up section that will adjust the length. And then this section right here will just screw down to the frame. So let's go ahead and uh, go out and mount them to the bed frame. Okay, I popped the mattress off so we can see a little bit better how this is going to work. Um, so basically, here's the strap. This 3D printed buckle I've designed to snap into these slots here used by the bed frame. So they snap in pretty securely and you can just press them in to pop them out. Um, I'm going to screw it in to the bed frame on the other side over here just with a pair of small screws to secure it and then the strap will run across like that. And you can just adjust the length of the strap uh, for larger objects. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, got it screwed down nice and tightly, very secure, and we can adjust the length and snap it in just like that. All right, there we have all four straps attached securely, like that. Let's go ahead and put the bed back on and see how the final thing assembly looks. There's the bed reattached and you can see the straps toe just fit in behind there. And when you want to take them out to use them, just pull them out, snap them in. Let's try and strap something down and see how it works. One of the ideas I had was the table, there's actually no really good place to stow the table. And so I was wondering if this would actually work for stowing the table. And uh, seems like it will. You just pull the leg off, flip it upside down, strap the thing down like that, and now the rear passenger seat is more clear for passengers. Yeah, that looks like it'll work pretty well. And here's what it looks like for stowing bedding, which is I think what I'll mostly be using this for. Um, yeah, looks like it'll work just fine for that. Snap things down right here and uh, nice and secure so nothing rolls off. So, uh, pretty successful project. That seems like it'll make that space actually useful for stowing whatever we need to. And the straps tuck away out of sight when not in use. Pretty easy.